Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the latest scoop around the world of entertainment. And I'm never alone. I have with me my co-anchor. Although we're never together on the show at one time, but yeah, history in the making, right? How are you feeling, Emerald? Exactly. I feel great. Thank you. How's your weekend? Mm, my weekend was, it was fun, but it started yesterday. But yesterday is not the weekend, right? What, what does that mean? The week starts from Sunday, right? So yeah. I shouldn't say my weekend was great. It was just there. It was just there. But it was yesterday that I had fun. Yeah. Okay. No highlights. Mm -mm. No dates. I heard you guys go on dates a lot these days. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get that from? I, I don't know. A lot of people say that. Like, girls are getting so much dates these days, and you know, guys are getting to spend so much money. These physical days. dates. Yes. No, no, not physical dates. What I heard is that yeah, a lot of dates are happening, but not physical dates. Oh, you you do it via Zoom. <laughs> you zoom date? And that's actually what you guys would prefer now because, I mean, the whole um, excuses about COVID, you know. No, I'll just shower you, sanitizer. You can come to my house. Really? <laughs> I'm just messing around. All right, guys, um, straight to uh, important information, okay? So much happened um, over the week. Exactly. And definitely trust us to bring you the best of the best as often as possible. Um, uh, also, with, you know, views and. Uh, 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 the different, I don't want to say opinions, but, you know, different sides to a particular story, all right? So we begin with uh, my favorite, my, one of my favorite actresses in Nigeria. I'm talking about Tonto Dike. So the Nigerian actress has reacted to a statement released by the Nigeria Christian Pilgrims Commission denying the reports that she was made an ambassador. Now, the actress claimed she was appointed an ambassador by the commission, and in a post shared via her Instagram page, the movie star said she did not lie about the appointment. Now, you know this whole started with, uh, oh, um, uh, I've, I've, I've been appointed as mm -hmm. ambassador, and then it's like, no, she's not an ambassador, and all of that. And it, it was really fun for a lot of people to laugh at, you know. So well, for, for the um, NCPC to come out and say that she wasn't um, giving that, so it totally means that she was lying. Yeah, but she's saying she wasn't lying. What they said... They didn't give it to her. So, so who do we believe? We have to believe the um, NCPC because obviously they're the ones who give this out. Yeah, but she wouldn't just wake up to say, oh, I've been made peace ambassador. So who did, who did, who did? And even if there was any, if anything like that happened, there has to be a record. Fair enough. So if they really want to find out or if you really want to prove it, maybe they can go that far, you know, research and find the record and all of that, like all the processes that took place before it happened. Who gave it to her? Mention names. That would also help to clear the whole misunderstanding. Or do you think that they're just, they're just messing with our heads? No, I don't think they're messing with our heads. I, I feel like she's lying. I don't, wow. hate, I don't hate her, but I, I feel like if they are the way, just like take for example, uh, Plus TV has given you a certificate, or you come out to say they gave you a certificate, and then they are saying to you, we didn't give you any certificate. So who do you think is lying? And why would they if lie? If they gave me a certificate, would I would say they gave me a certificate. <laughs> <laughs> if they did not give me I'm a just, about it. Oh, so, so that proves it. That proves it. Someone is lying. And it obviously, for me, personally, it obviously cannot be the body that you are saying has given something to you that will be lying about it. Okay, so Unless you feel they she, have any So you feel she's on the defensive at the moment? That's what I would say. Okay. But um, another angle of this, right? Is she really worthy of being an ambassador, a peace ambassador? Peace ambassador. Yeah. Hmm. Well, judging from the old Tonto DK that we know, see in the movie, well, she's actually a peaceful person to an extent. Yeah. Uh, Until husband troubles? Husband troubles doesn't make her uh, a less peaceful person because, I mean, that was just some, a woman crying out if truly happened. That was just a woman crying out. So that out. really happened, right? I said if truly happened because I, no, I, I, I have well, no... If truly... Well, do you think no, she's a, just a moving body of lie? No, no. Or that's lies? Not, that's not what I mean. What I meant is, um, you know, um, during the whole issues, herself and Church Hill, there was just so much going on. Yeah. People, some people said she went into the marriage because she had a thought that that was Obasanjo's son. It was just yes, a lot going that, on. Yes, there was that. So we don't know what actually broke that marriage. And that's why I've been saying to people I that, think we do now, the, the new girl. No, no, she did not. She did not break the marriage. So How that's, why, that's why when that came up, I was here. We, we talked about it here. And I was like, I don't blame the girl. They should let her why, be. Why not? Why would you blame her? A lot has happened in the marriage. 
And yes, um, and it's, it's okay for... And the shoulders to cry on, it's your shoulder that is readily available. No, 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 no. Let's not say it that way. You know, she said they were actually friends or um, workmates or so. I don't know. Yeah. She works for him. Yeah. She's his She's PA. She's her so. PA, yeah. Yeah, so... She's his PA, pardon me. You know, at the end of the day, it all leads to... We don't know where it started from, but if a man isn't getting peace from where he should, he will look somewhere else. So I, I think he was not getting peace. And they should let Church heal you, please. Please. Tons of DK, I love you. I, I love you like too. TV. Okay, <laughs> so let's move on to an icon, um, uh, not your music icon, obviously. I'm talking about Two Face, Two Baba Idibia. Uh, he has shaded Apostle Johnson Suleiman over his statement about money making through speaking in tongues during a sermon. Now, Suleiman reveals that he had uh, that he prayed for the pandemic caused by COVID-19 not to end, and also laughed off the notion that he acquired a money-making machine, mm -hmm. right? Very so, funny. what do you think about this first? First off, this whole thing about these pastors and extorting money and saying that, 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 this thing, I don't know if it will ever end. I feel like it's something that will be discussed till you leave this world. Let me know it's myself. Till you leave this world. <laughs> wow. Why do I have to leave an old, you? You're definitely going to get old before you leave the world. That's what I mean. Like, Amen. it's a topic well, it's that confusing I'm coming, I'm trying to say it's a very, it's a topic that is going to, that's, that, that's here and it's going to stay for a long time. Yeah. Probably our kids will come and still have to talk about it. Yeah. So, um, regarding this particular one, <laughs> when he said, someone said that um, he has a machine that prints money in his house and then it, he told the congregation and they like, <laughs> they laughed. And mm -hmm. clapped so to fit saying that the congregation, you guys are actually the ones he's referring to as when I speak in tongue, machine brings, uh, brings in money. That means the congregation is the is uh, they the, are the, the money they are printing the, machines, exactly. Uh, so, church. so this is it, right? And um, us. personally, I think um, Apostle Suleiman has been bashed a little too much, in my opinion, for but, Almost no reason. He, everything, everything he says gets taken literal, and that's not how life is. Nobody just wakes up. I can't just wake up and not be able to crack jokes or not be able to inspire people in a twisted way that I might want to. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think um, the initial standpoint was when you know he spoke about the pandemic and uh, how he got. Uh, a private jet during the pandemic as yeah. well and it's like so the pandemic should not end mm -hmm. and all of that stuff and then it triggered a lot and there's this man who made a, a particular barrister i must say um uh, who lives in i think japan made a lengthy video um, about castigating apostle Suleiman, telling mm -hmm. him uh in in this country they don't worship jesus they don't worship god and the country's fine they're taking care of each other but then you're extorting money and all of that. And then he went on and on and he replied and all of that stuff, right? But I feel like the initial point where he said what he said, he didn't exactly mean what he was saying. He was just messing around. It's like, oh, you can do this too. Do you understand what I mean? Try to make a situation where you grow at a point where, you know, everything seems, everything like seems really messed up. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. And then um, this whole speaking in tongues and, and ATM machines and... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I should, um, I, should, I should start speaking in tongue if that is going to. But the truth is, uh, they maybe say, they say the it, Holy Spirit isn't that forgiven. Looking at it from uh, the religious angle, if we must look that way, I yeah. don't. I don't think it is nice to bash a man of God. I, that's yes, how, that's the, what I was Bible, not to up. Do that. Yeah. So, but when you totally make yourself, you're out there every second. Every time you want to be out there, you, as a man of God, I feel like there's some things you should say. He's a celebrity man of God. <laughs> I, I mentioned <laughs> this on the show the other time, and you felt they were laughing, you know. So if you have made yourself, like, if you, it, it depends on how you present yourself and how you put yourself out there. Because he, he's been there. He's been there, and he's been saying the words that people really want to hear. So that's just it. When you're out there, you take anything that comes. But all Let me same, ask you this random bash, question. You shouldn't bash. Okay. You know how you know how the Bible is, right? And mm -hmm. how it speaks about Jesus Christ, and then how Jesus was doing his thing at the time, and then um, certain people didn't exactly appreciate him for it, and they yeah. kept on castigating him. Yeah. What if he's Jesus? He can't be Jesus Random first question. though. Why? Why not? Because he's not Jesus. How do? He's not Jesus. Okay. Blasphemy. Whatever. I'm just messing first up. off, he's not Jesus. <laughs> Second <laughs> off, um, yeah. You don't know people... that. I know. How? Oh my God! Are you the, the are you the custodian of Jesus's movement? 
<laughs> he's my father. He's my father. So oh, wow. I know, I know. That's yeah. not Jesus. You guys seem to chat a lot. Exactly. Like we, we spoke this morning, you know. Uh, okay. We talk tonight. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. So um, uh, we're going to go for a quick, quick music break. Uh, definitely. We will be right back. Do not go anywhere. This is Tea Time. Mm -hmm. 